John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods uh, out of our Indiana, Pennsylvania showroom. Uh, today we're bringing to you our newest addition to our inventory. This is a 55 uh, Chevrolet. Um, this is the, uh, the post sedan, I believe. So uh, underneath the car, we're going to start off like we normally do, um, starting at the back, working our way to the front. And we'll just point out to you exactly what we see underneath here. So it gives you a much better idea of what to expect on the car. Um, so underneath the back end, uh, we can see dual exhaust all the way out the back. Um, you see a nice, uh, looks to be all new fuel tank back here. New straps, mounting hardware, all in excellent condition. The frame, you can see the dog legs up over the rear axle housing here, all the way back straight. And then the cross piece across the rear, that's all nice and straight, good and solid. No dents, dings, anything like that. Um, you can see this is just the, uh, um, the wheel well here for your spare tire that's up in the trunk. Your trunk pan itself is in good condition also, no patching, no piecing together, all solid one piece there, uh, just like it should be. Um, as we work our way a little further forward here, um, tires here on the outside, these are 225 70R15s the whole way around. Uh, those are mounted on 15-inch Krager SS mag wheels. Uh, those are chrome wheels too, by the way. Um, inside of that, we have drum brakes on the rear. Uh, now, this disc up front, but we'll see that a little later here. We've got multi-leaf rear suspension. We've got the traction bars here also. And then, uh, as far as shocks, we've got a pair of air shocks here on the back of the car. We've got the original uh, GM rear here for the 55 Chevy, uh, and this is a non posi unit here. Um, so again, uh, all original stuff back here anyhow. Uh, and then your tailpipes, uh, you can see that that's all fairly new stuff um, the whole way up through here, and then we'll catch a glimpse of the uh, mufflers. We'll get a better shot of those as we get up to the center of the vehicle. All right, now that we're underneath the center of our 55 Chevy here, um, we can take a better look at the floors, um, more of the frame, and uh, the exhaust system here underneath the car. As you can see, everything looks really, really good here. Uh, the frame, very nice and straight, not banged up at all. Both sides, very nice. Looks like it's had some new fuel line put on it the whole way back through also. And then you can see all the brake lines too run. And that looks to be all fairly new stuff there too. So your fittings, everything like that are all in good condition. Uh, you don't see anything that's all rusted up. So all new brake lines, all new fuel lines as well. The floors themselves, uh, all nice one piece. Um, no patching, no holes, just solid good one piece floors the whole way back through. Um, even your outriggers here uh, for like your body to sit on. Those are all nice shape too. Um, the uh, bushings here in between your body mounts, all the way around, those look to be in good shape. They're not split out, they're not cracked, all in very good shape. Um, exhaust system, you can see here again, it's been cleaned up really nice, fairly new exhaust system. Um, again, you can see just how well it was taken care of. The ceramic coated headers also back here, long tube headers. Um, that bolt up to that small block Chevy motor. And then we have the Muncie four speed manual transmission here. Now again, the way everything mounts in this car, um, very, very kind of, it's different from our, our norm here. You've got uh, engine and transmission mounts right back here. Uh, ureth big urethane rubber bushings here. Uh, you've also got uh, engine mounts up front here too as well that it sets in. Kind of, kind of acts like a cradle there. But all the bushings you can see from underneath here, they are in all good shape there. So again, everything well taken care of and well maintenanced on this vehicle here. All right, now finally up front here to finish off the underside video. Uh, again, uh, the 225 70R15 tires on those Krager SS Cro Mag wheels. Um, inside of those, this is front disc brake. Again, it's power brake car. Uh, it's also power steering too, so uh, real good driving car, real good braking car too. Um, all of your suspension components up front is all of your stock uh, stamped steel components. So your lower control arms, the upper A arms, 
Uh, again, all factory stock stamp steel components. Uh, spindles, those are factory too. Uh, again, just kind of GM disc brake components. Um, ball joints are in good shape. The little rubber uh, boots for everything are, are in good shape as well. Um, springs and shocks up front. The shocks look to be fairly new. Um, not brand new, but fairly new. Um, the steering components, um, you can see the rubber boots on all of that stuff. So that's all in good shape. They've got everything wiped off here as best as they can. You're going to have a little bit of grease. Again, it's an older vehicle. Um, so again, after you know all the greasing and so forth through the years for maintenance, You'll have a little bit of that, but not much here to speak of. They've got it all cleaned up really nice. Uh, the front frame, uh, we can see here also, uh, it's in good shape. Spring buckets, everything, all in good shape. There's nothing that's, you know, rusted or rotted out on the car. It's all good, solid metal. Um, so you've got a really excellent platform underneath here. The front cross member, you can see it. It's not banged in or anything, so it's in good shape new bolts and so forth and that too for your core support um, so again under other things that we can see under here um, we can see kind of the back side of the front bumper that thing is just as nice as can be i'm sure you'll see it once we get the car down to nice big chrome bumpers on this car um, and that's really about it uh, underneath the front end uh, we'll go ahead at this time get it down off the rack and uh, take you around the outside and then we'll get to show you how really nice uh, this whole entire car is. All right, now we have our 55 Chevy Bel Air down off the rack now. We can take a look, uh, walk around the outside, and take a look on the inside there. As you can see, this car is really beautiful. Um, it's got the two-tone paint on the outside, the blue and the white, and you can probably see in a lot of the photos on our site, and you can probably pick it up in the video too. This does have a lot of the metal flakes, so kind of done with that, the old school, you know, look and theme to it there. But again, it is a 55 Chevy, so uh, that's, you know, something that, uh, you know, a lot of guys are going to like out there. Again, metal on this car is just about flawless, uh, nice and straight the whole way down the sides on this car. All of the bright work is in excellent condition on this car. So we'll just go around and kind of point those things out. Uh, the, uh, the wheels and tires on this car, uh, they are 15 inch wheels, both front and back, and they are the Chrome Krager SS Mag wheels. Um, you've got 225 70R15 tires all four corners so if you ever need to rotate tires you can do that and they're all brand new tires too so it treads all really good on this car again the trim work uh, bright work the whole way around the window up above the side windows and around the quarter windows there all in excellent shape there's trim work too just as nice as it can be we've got uh, both the driver and the passenger side mirrors on this car and the doors again big doors for just a two-door car uh, but you can see the gaps here the whole way around very uniform elevation is very good too so fitment of this door they did a really good job the whole way around the car um, let's go ahead and open this up and um, you're going to see we've got white interior in here now these are aftermarket bucket seats but they've got the headrest up top they are adjustable here, so you can recline them. You can actually, they're electric, so you can, you can move them, you know, a little bit there to adjust for your, uh, whatever you need, foot room and height wise there. Um, again, you can, uh, you know, tilt the backs forward too to get back in the back seats. Um, it's got the white door panels, white headliner, uh, and then it's got the blue carpeting in here too. So they've two-toned the interior just like they did the outside of the car. The factory dash, it's all painted up that same metallic blue that you see on the outside. So they follow that theme throughout. You've got, again, it's factory dash, so you've got your factory instrumentation, which includes the 110 mile an hour speedometer. You've got the factory temperature gauge within that gauge, as well as the gasoline gauge. Um, now it's got a column mount tack because it is a four speed uh, manual shift car. So a lot of times you'll see them put that column mount tack in there so they know where they're revving the car up to. Factory heater controls. It still retains the factory AM radio in the dash, but if you open up the little glove box, um, there is an aftermarket 
Panasonic AM FM CD player in there. It does have a, a, a collection of aftermarket gauges down below the, the bash, and those are just an aftermarket amp gauge, uh, water temperature gauge, and oil pressure gauge. Um, so based off of that, I'd say your, your factory temp gauge probably does not work, so they put the aftermarket ones in. Either that or else it was just not reading real accurate. And then it still retains the factory clock over on the passenger side of the dash there. Um, that's really about it. And again, the trim work on the inside, just as nice as what you see around the outside here. So with that, we'll go ahead and close the door up. Shuts real nice and easy. Good thud there, so it's all adjusted nice. Again, I mentioned all the trim work there the whole way down the quarter panel here. Um, now it's got these cross flag emblems on both sides. And then the former owner decided he wanted to put these street receipt machine badges on here too. So again, just little touches like that, just to give it that kind of old school and personal touch uh, that they wanted there. Um, fuel door, again, it's in excellent shape here too. Uh, fuel fill neck right here with the, uh, the cap on the top, all in excellent shape. And the trim work around that too, uh, just as nice as it could be. That concludes this side. All right, here we are around the back side of our 55 uh, Chevy Bel Air here. Again, everything about this car is just super nice. You've got these, uh, you know, the, the iconic tail lights back here for the 55. You can see the trim work around there. You can see the lenses, both for parking and brake lights and for your backup lights, all in excellent condition. No cracks in the lenses. All that stuff looks to be all fairly new stuff back here. No pitting on any of the chrome either. It's in excellent shape. You see the big chrome rear bumper here, complete with the bumperettes. And the bumperettes have the little lights in it for the license plate light. Uh, so that's all in excellent shape. And again, you see the dual tailpipes sticking out the rear here. The, uh, the emblem back here for the Chevy, for the Bel Airs, you see that it's in excellent shape no cracks or anything in, in the lens on that so it's in excellent condition again this side just the same way with all the trim work underneath the trim around the, the tail lights and the lenses excellent condition we'll go ahead and pop our trunk there you go you hear it pop we'll go ahead and lift that up and you can see here the underside of the trunk lid just as nice as the rest of the car all painted up white it's got the insulation back in here for the trunk. You see it's got the blue carpet back here to line that trunk floor. Inside of the trunk is really nice also. I'll peel back this, this carpet here just a little bit for you. And you can tell the back side of the carpet, just real nice, the, uh, the insulation, the foam backing underneath there. You can see the trunk floor, it's in excellent shape too. All solid, one piece, no patches whatsoever in that. We'll go ahead and put that back and then you can also see that this has the housing over here for your what would be your spare tire Now we don't have a spare tire back in here but you can see inside here the paints just as nice as can be um, all one piece no patches no no issues at all in this car uh, in the trunk area especially so we'll go ahead and shut our trunk now uh, the other thing that we can see from the trunk here, after closing it, you can see the gaps the whole way around the trunk and the elevation there. Again, adjusted really nice for as big of a trunk lid as what it is. And then you also see the trim work around that rear window. Very nice, polished up real nice. No dents or dings and you can't see any scratches. All polished up real nice. So we'll go ahead now and around to the passenger side. All right, now starting from the back, working our way to the front on the passenger side, everything all the same as what we already went over on that driver's side, so we'll just quickly go through this. Again, you can see the trim and the bright work here, the whole way around the quarter panel here, up to the window. Again, all the bright work here around that rear glass and over top of the passenger side door. Excellent condition, again, uh, everything about this car. The 15 inch wheels, Kreger SS Chrome Mag Wheels, the 225-70R15 tires, front and rear. Uh, we get to the passenger side door. Again, you can see the gaps the whole way around the door. 
very nice, very uniform elevation, just as good as what you could ask for on a big car like this. Again, laser straight down the side, very nice metal work on this car. We'll open up the door. Weather stripping around the windows and around the door on this car all look to be brand new on this thing. There's no cracks, no tears, no little chunks out of it. So again, sealing up from all the uh, elements outside, not gonna be an issue with this car. You should have, you should do really good. Um, factory dash again, painted that metallic blue. Now you have the uh, door, uh, your window inner, uh, what do you wanna call this, moldings here, we'll say. Um, those are all painted, same blue metallic as the outside of the car. Again, I've already mentioned, you've got the white door panels, the white headliner, the white upholstered seats, front and back. Uh, everything just, again, color coordinated with the whole outside of the car. One thing I did fail to mention uh, on the other side, there is a center console in there. It's an aftermarket center console. It does have uh, cup holders in it there too. So when you're cruising around, you can have either a hot or cold drink with you, um, whatever the day, uh, whatever you might need that day. The Hearst four-speed shifter in there. Uh, again, we've already mentioned everything else about the inside there. So we'll go ahead and close that up. Again, you see it closes nice and easy. Good solid thud there, just like it should have. Again, it's got both the mirrors, both the passenger and the driver's side mirror on the other side. The fender mount, retractable antenna here. Not power, just manual. So you do have that. And then that brings us up front again. You can see that big front fender there with all that nice paint, nice smooth, shiny, or blue paint, I should say. Uh, metallic there, very heavy in there, but again, picks up the light very, very nicely and really brings your eye to it. So we'll go ahead now, come around the front of our car. And finally, here we are now at the front end of our 55 Bel Air here. Again, uh, trim rings around the headlights, excellent condition both sides, uh, even around your parking lights here, um, in excellent condition. The bright work around the grill, Again, excellent condition, polished up real nice. The grill itself is in really great condition. You don't see any pieces broke out of it, all good and solid there, shined up just like it should be. Again, that big front chrome bumper with the bumperettes installed on it, just like it should be, all beautifully chromed. No scratches or pitting or anything. Looks like it, that's been a pretty fresh chrome job, but, uh, you know, fairly recently here. It does have the uh, headlight eyebrows on it, um, and those can be removed if you want to. Again, it's just a little personal touch that they do to these cars, uh, but the headlights behind those are in excellent condition, so whichever way you want it, uh, you can do that uh, whenever you decide to uh, park it in your driver or in your garage, you can do whatever. Um, you can see this hood. Now, this isn't your standard, typical hood on one of these cars. This is kind of based off of an SS Chevelle, so that's why you see kind of those humps in the hood with the hood louvers or vents uh, in it. Again, just to kind of uh, mimic, kind of like a 67 Chevelle would be with those vents kind of off to the side of those louvers. Um, you'll also see this 55 here. Um, kind of twofold on here, it is vinyl, uh, so it could be taken off if you wanted to, uh, but it is a 55, so it kind of signifies that and the fact that this is kind of based off of like a 67 SS Chevelle hood, the 55s could kind of look like S's there. So 55 or SS, however you want to take it, uh, that's, that's how you can do it. Uh, but anyways, that hood, big hood, big metal hood, and you can see the, the gaps around the hood, elevations are all perfect on this thing. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pop our hood. This hood opens real nice and easy. And again, it will stay up on its own. Again, underside of the hood's all done up black. It's got all the proper bracing in it here up by the latch there, going back to the sides of the hood. Then of course you've got this cross piece going from side to side on it too. The hood hinges themselves, excellent condition, painted up gray with the black springs. Black inner fenders, we've got the blue firewall back there as well. Now as far as power plant in this hood, uh, underneath the hood, We've got a 350 small block Chevy motor. Now this would be obviously a non-numbers match motor, but it is a 350 Chevy motor. You've got the uh, chrome air cleaner on top, 
chrome valve covers, those are Chevrolet valve covers on it. We've got uh, a reusable style air filter, probably like a, a Spectre name brand probably. Uh, and then underneath that we've got a Holley dual feed four bow carburetor. Uh, it's got manual choke on it so it does have the cable hooked up. Uh, again, I did say it's a dual feed. It's a uh, aluminum Edelbrock Performer RPM intake on it just to help with the fuel delivery and helping it breathe a little bit. Ceramic coated long tube headers. Again, we saw that whole exhaust system on the underside. Very nice, pretty new too uh, for the car. Power brakes, power steering, and again, those were disc brakes up front, drum brakes in the rear. Um, we've got the electric cooling fan up here. Um, I think I mentioned aluminum radiator. If not, we just did then. Um, AC Delco battery, uh, and the ignition's been upgraded too. You no longer have the stock ignition in here. We've got an MSD distributor back there, coil, and the MSD 6A ignition box there too. So it'll provide good spark for you as well. So that's pretty much everything underneath the hood here. Uh, again, very nice car. Nice drive line, good solid car, nice and straight, good metal. You name it, this car has it. Um, so again, for 55, if that's what you're looking for, look no further. This is about as nice as what you're going to come across here. Um, if you have any questions, uh, anything at all, any comments or whatever, definitely give us a phone call. Um, our number is on the website and in the video and photos. And you can shoot us an email. We'll be glad to help you out in any way we can on this car and any other car that we have in inventory.